behalf of the United States. They're like pioneers. They got to experience something that students like them would not have gotten to experience years before. because it will be my first total eclipse. So I don't know what to expect, you know? My name is Alyssa Rasnick. My counterpart, Francis Way, and I are teachers of the visually impaired for Springdale School District. We got an invitation to come here, Dina Lambert. I would like to introduce to you NASA's own Dina Lambert. felt it was really important for us to make the drive for Northwest Arkansas in order for us to be in the path of totality in Moralton. So that we could experience the eclipse with Dina Lambert and all of the amazing tools that she brought with her from NASA. I'm so glad you guys are here. And I'm uh, just excited to experience this with you all. Particularly what's exciting is that they are blind and visually impaired students. So we've brought a number of books in Braille and have tactile graphics that they'll be able to, to feel, as well as some devices that will indicate the level of totality with, through beeps and chirps and sounds so that they can experience a total eclipse just like anyone else. You can hear it? Like just in a different way. They have this sound box and how you put it on. And basically it's like a box that you put on and it like makes a sound like you have a headphone and it makes a sound deeper. And and then when you, when it's getting darker, it gets deeper. When into it's nothing at all, when it's pretty much black, pitch black. When the sun comes back up, the sound goes higher, higher pitched and higher pitched until it's highest and that's when the sun's fully up. You will not only be able to see it, but what I want my friends in the front who also are blind and visually impaired to know that we can feel it with our skin, we can hear it around us with the changes in the environment. Oh, what are you, what are you noticing? Is that the temperature? Yeah. yeah. Getting to experience the eclipse, I think it's something we all, with vision can take for granted, but seeing as that they had Dina there, truly getting to hear her speak probably was maybe more on like Francis's and I's to-do list, but I know that our students, whether they realized it or not, it was really a gem getting to speak with her. Her expertise, but also her ability to, to know what they're going through. Listening to them talk at lunch was truly a, a really wonderful moment for me because she was able to share her experience growing up in public schools and the kids got to identify with her and that was truly amazing. 
how is it with getting things on time and, and it's, are y'all, do you feel like you're able to, you know, follow along? Yeah. Where you can turn data into sound. And so actually now we actually load a lot of our images that is sonified so that it equates sound from the images. That's really cool. Yeah. Most of you know that we are really lucky in that we will receive 100% totality at about 150 this afternoon. The darkness, like it's getting dark. And then like, you know how the sun is usually like burning really, our really skin or whatever? It's, it's getting cold. cold. It's like chilly-ish. I think the people that like that made this trip happen because you know it was so worth it. So that's the sun. Yep. Students with visual impairments, so much of their education stems from actually experiencing it. They can't just read about everything in a book. And if they're lucky, they get a tactual representation, but to actually feel, see, experience something, it is just more preferred. So we really wanted to capitalize on this, and I was really grateful that the district allowed us to go and, and experience totality in Moralton with Dean. Uh, just made it a, the recipe for a great day. I thought it was very good that they created this because, you know, it's only, like I said, once in a lifetime thing until like 21 years from now. But by then, I'll be an adult. <laughs>